I love adventure and there are few places more remote and exciting as Exmouth. Now it's situated in Western Australia and juts out into the Indian Ocean. It's incredibly remote and getting there is half the adventure. Get right up close to it. Come on. Oh, yeah. Look at it go. Got to deal with Willy Willies across the road, and it's over a thousand kilometres north of Perth. And there's nothing but desert along the way. Look at it, and it vanishes. Still whipping right, a bit. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at it. <laughs> oh, I feel the wind. And then there's the locals to deal with and they won't even get off the road for you. But what makes this place so unique is that it's incredibly rich in life, in the water. On the land, it's complete desert, but in the water, you can literally hand feed the fish. Pull up on the beaches and the spangled emperor will come racing out to meet you. There's six species of billfish. There's GTs, even bonefish on the flats. In fact, as we're even launching, there are great big mangrove jacks swimming around the boat ramp. This is gonna be a good trip. always an anticipation when you go out to new grounds you know we're running out to sea we've got to punch through a bit of weather and then it flattens out and it's always an excitement of what's going to happen what are we going to see that's what i really really love about fishing Because Bomber and I are super efficient and do everything before you go to sea, we're just prepping up the lures now. So what we're going to do is just show you a really quick trick for putting a single hook in. Single hooks are a lot better because A, it's better for the fish and B, it's a lot better for the angler. So, get your thing, get two crimps. I prefer the brass ones like that because they the double, um, double sleeved or whatever they call them, much better than the alloy ones. So you put both of them on. First up. And the idea behind this is so you can set the lure further back or further forward, depends where you want it to sit in the skirt. So put two of those on. Grab a VMC, one of the new ones, a little fine gauge. I think that's, I don't know, 9 or 10 something like that. Put that on. Then what we do is give yourself still a decent tag. Slide that through, get it in back in. This is a pretty straightforward side of it, but where the trick starts is further up. Pull that down on the lure, uh, on the hook I should say, just nice and tight, so it sits like there. Then the trick is, you still get your spare crimp, you twist the tag against the main line, as far up as you want. Now, as far as you want that to sit is where it's going to sit in your lure. So in this case we want it to sit nice and far back for little blacks. So you crimp it up to say, so you've got that. You push the other one back in. The beauty with this is it can fit any length and any lure, so you can change the setting. And on top of that, that gives you a little bit more security there that it's doubled up, you know, obviously with, well in this case, black marlin chewing on it. But then what we do, we run this down and you can check. So I've always kept the tag out, hanging out there. So you can check there how far it's going to sit out. So it's going to sit sort of, yeah, it'll probably tighten her up a bit. So I'll pull that out and tighten it up a little bit. Do it to there, that's going to work better. Crimp it on there. 
always make sure you sit, take the time to make them sit exactly the way they're meant to and never crimp the corners, obviously. I know it sounds silly, but the amount of times I saw a bloke who used to do it with a vice. Can you believe that? Crimp down. Crimp down. And of course, remember to do the other one. It gives you added security as well. those are flange and then you just trim off this tag you can tape it up or I wouldn't hate shrink it as much with it obviously being mono but you know you can always put a bit of tape on it as well there you have it sitting down towards the tail end of the skirt still IGFA legal guaranteed for black marlin guaranteed bomber absolutely let's get one so. there's always that anticipation of a new location Exmouth didn't disappoint. You know, we're running out to sea, just trucking away, crashing through a few waves here and there. But generally, conditions are good, getting the gear ready. And you know what? We literally put the lures in and it was game on. This time, Bomber was hooked up to his first West Coast black marlin. Now, he's caught them because he lives up a group, catches lots of sails and little blacks up there. But to catch one in the Indian Ocean, just added to it. Exmouth is full of little black marlin, and they're great fun on both lures and switch baiting, if you can get them to switch. You're doing gear off? Yeah, stay just in gear. So I'll still have bailing arm over. Yeah. What do you want, Al? She's good. Three, four, or what? Just keep going in gear, mate, in gear. This trip was set up by Rob from North Bank Boats. And one of the things, one of the key parts was to catch him his first marlin. Mind you, when you start with a dolphin fish, it's still not too bad because you get dinner. Dolphin fish are amazing, you know, they have those beautiful colours one minute and other times they're almost translucent. And you know what, with the mahi out of the way, it didn't take long to get Rob onto his first marlin. And those little feisty blacks that spends more time in the air than in the water. You know what? Catch your fish like this in crystal clear water like this can only mean one thing for me, and that is to jump in. It's the best part of my job is getting that underwater. I know it's risky, but
but it just shows you that whole new perspective, that amazing perspective, I should say, of underwater, what the fish look like. And the best part is we get to release them in a healthy state. Straight onto the double. <laughs> what? That's good, I like it. Tiny little buggers, aren't they? How are they going? Get him up, get the tag in, help science so we can learn about these fish. and then set him free. It's so important that we look after these fish. Every marlin is too valuable to lose.
They say things that go to sea should stay at sea, but this happened on land. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love those shorts, they make them in men. <laughs> I have one question, Bomber. You ever had a man? 